Good morning, guys. It is such a pleasure to wake up in this place. It is quiet. You can hear the birds, all this green everywhere, the pool behind. And I'm so, so relaxed here. And I'm going to have a breakfast and then right around another perfect riding day. I look for what? Well, well, well. Look at this. Hey. Lyndon, I know that you're a great rider, but you haven't said anything about your chef skills. <laughs> Me neither, I didn't know. But you when the women are away, we have to improvise, but very, very good. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you very much, huh? My pleasure. All right, perfect. What are we going to do today, Lyndon? We're going to go up to the lakes in our Dallas, yeah. which is the most beautiful area, and then find some of the real twisty roads around there. Um, and have some nice food at a beautiful restaurant that overlooks the lake that we use for climbing. Okay, so we are focused on the ride or on the food or both? Food at the moment, somebody else's as well, but, yeah. uh, and then the ride. <laughs> Another day in the office. Another day in the office, yeah. Work, work, work. Uh, All right for you, I'm working. <laughs> You're working, I'm enjoying my time. All right, cool. Oh. Let's go to have another wonderful day. Yeah. Another wonderful day. Ah, today we're with Lyndon. Such a nice feeling to come here and ride and enjoy this beautiful weather. Wonderful. 20 past 10, 23 degrees. Excellent. Let's refill the tanks and jump into the corners. I'll tell you the truth guys, even the simple things like to go to the petrol station, just move to the next town or something. It's such a pleasure because of this unique Spanish architecture everywhere and this small tiny street. You're already on an adventure when you just ride around. You don't need even to go to the uh, some exotic places because they are everywhere. Look at this, how cool it is. Look at this house where it is. Oh. I'd love to live there. I'd love to live there, man. Oh. Holy shit. As I told you guys, everything is just amazing here whatever you go whatever you look you have this absolutely outstanding twisty roads wonderful very important advice from me guys whatever bike you ride whatever distance you ride or whatever location you ride or road it doesn't matter always try to stay on your own piece don't try to imitate don't even try it and don't trust so much on the bike even now okay I have the best of the on two on two wheels like this GS uh, 1250 with a lot of systems but it is not a god it is not a miracle all the systems are here to help me but not to prevent accidents and I cannot even compare with uh, the riding skills of uh, Linton at the moment he's a great rider and he has this bike for a long time and this is his territory I don't want even to compare with him this is very very important learn it and always use it always rule number one ride in your own piece what is special for today is that we're gonna try this big uh, elephants on some gravel and dirt roads like this or similar or better we'll see and uh, what is really interesting for me to see how the, the bike actually reacts on such a terrain is because uh, I never tried before such a heavy bike on the 
on the, this type of terrain so it's really interesting for me to see how it is exactly so I don't think that it's a really good idea to turn off the traction control or ABS on, on these um, heavy bikes because you might have more problems that, than actually to help doing it it's, uh, it's good if you have some really technical stuff but I don't think that you will make a technical stuff with these bikes nice isn't it? Lucky bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Let's actually see what this beast are capable to do. Oh man, look at this! Views are spectacular, spectacular. Look at this, what a place to ride and Lyndon is very careful of course I perfectly understand that because he never ridden with me before and these are heavy bikes and uh, I really respect that I'm not one of these guys who will always say nah I know everything I'm good with this I'm good with that no 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 forget about it it's always something new to learn something new to learn always The point is that it's always need to stand. If you stand, it's good. If you try to sit, for some people will be alright. I'm not saying that you have to stand most of the time. But standing position always, always give you this confidence and stability. And this is what I'm looking for. So, what we're actually trying to do is to see how good these machines are on this type of terrains. I'm not saying that they are perfect. What I would like to say is that they are manageable, they are manageable. So if you just keep in mind always that the bike is heavy, yeah, it's absolutely manageable. Another point that is uh, also really worth to mention is the setup before the dirt road. You really need to go to enduro mode, which one will uh, limit the horsepower to I think we're 95 I'm not sure about it and uh, the throttle response will be a little bit softer and this is exactly what you need actually on this type of, of roads and also set uh, the suspension to enduro mode it will be more again more softer I believe and uh, these changes are almost like a critical of that how the bike is going to behave on uh, such a terrains it will be a completely different story if you have the right tires but most of the owners of this motorcycle are not going to change the tires they ride before the dirt they will ride these bikes let's say on the trip or somewhere around the world and if you face uh, terrains like that the idea of this video is to show that it's absolutely manageable absolutely manageable as long as you are careful look at the view now ah I talk too much just spamming these wonderful views. How are you, Lyndon? Thank you very much for this wonderful track. Oh, pleasure. Yeah, uh, surprising what they can do. Absolutely. Uh, we can see on far distance, yeah? This is the Guadalajorfe Valley. So Malaga is over there and Sierra Nevada ski resort on a clear day and the coast is, is that way. But this is the Guadalajorfe Valley. And we go this way, yeah? We're going to go up higher, 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 higher and higher and higher. <laughs> to the oh. lakes. We're going to have lunch at the lakes overlooking the lake. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, Thank you very much. You're a good man. You're a good man. Cheers. <laughs> if you haven't been with 1250 on such a terrains, I will say that they are not bad at all. Of course, you have to keep in mind that it's a heavy bike. You can't make some crazy stuff. But with a little idea in your mind and with a even a little off-road experience, you will be perfectly fine. Look at the views. Oh man, fantastic.
Of course, you always need to keep in mind that this is a 250 kilograms. It is not 120 dirt bike. But if you keep this in mind, it will be absolutely no problem whatsoever to ride it without crazy stuff, of course. But manageable, absolutely manageable. It will work in 90% of the cases you might need to ride. I mean, on an adventure trip or whatever trip you've got, because uh, it is not designed to stay on the dirt all the time, but it can handle it absolutely perfect without any problems. a place to be huh? The best of everything is that once you finish with the ride, you go back on the street and you can continue what you are doing. And this is all what it's about. With a proper dirt bike, yeah, you can have a great fun, but once you step in the, on the street, it's difficult. This is what is very good with um, Linden, that you can have uh, experience with everything. You can have a dirt road, you can have a nice twisty road, you can have almost everything, almost everything, as long as you, you have the will to do it. So, with I don't know how it's with uh, other companies, but I don't think that uh, many other companies will allow you to ride bike like this on the dirt roads. I don't really think that it's going to happen. Good, there is the scene. Just amazing. Thanks to Lindan and Toro Adventures. Oh yeah, I was able to come here right on the street, right on the this perfect gravel road, even in the mountain roads. Perfect. So I will say that in the right hand, this bike really can do a lot, a lot. So what you can do and what you cannot do with a GS 1250 it's mostly limitation of uh, your skills it's not exactly on the bike of course you always need to keep in mind that it's a heavy bike and you cannot do what you're able to do with your light dirt bike but with the right techniques I'm sure you can have a really good fun
track here, huh? Wonderful. Okay. As I said guys, the best of everything is that when you finish your ride, you can go back on the street. It doesn't mean that this is the best bike to have. No, absolutely not. I still believe that the sweet spot is like 6-700 cc. We don't really need more than that. But if you like the big bikes, if you like this type of riding style, yeah, why not? Just take whatever you like and enjoy it. The most important is to have fun and to enjoy your rides, your trips. Ah, oh, look at this place. Wonderful. What a place, huh? Look at this. Let's see where the lake is. Wonderful restaurant. Look at this. I like this big cactus. Great. Wonderful, isn't it? And how you feel after the first part of the day? Very good. Beautiful day. Okay. Amazing, isn't it? There are also walking truck there, so you can walk around everywhere. Ooh, brilliant! This now is delicious, my friend. Wow. <laughs> This is what I what I call quality service, huh? <laughs> We're trying. VIP. Oh man, this was excellent stop. I really enjoyed this restaurant. Let's go to see the rest of the interesting things we plan for today. Very very touristic area. A lot of nice places to have a lunch or coffee. Just wonderful. And 20 seconds later, we're in this nice road. This is actually all the fresh water for Malaga come from here. Wonderful area. Look at this down on the bottom. Mm, they open the shoes and water go down there. Nice. This is nice, huh? Wonderful. All right, guys. It was another absolutely perfect uh, riding day with Toro Adventure. I'm so so pleased that I came here. And these guys are just awesome. I highly, highly recommend it to each and every one of you. I will link all of their details in the description down below. And don't even doubt, if you have the time, if you have the money, go and enjoy their company. They are absolutely, absolutely brilliant. And of course, you're gonna have the chance to ride these wonderful bikes and enjoy the wonderful scenes I just show you. I have nothing, nothing more to say. Nothing more to say. We go back to the base now and after this long riding day I'll be more than happy to have a beer in their company. Thank you very much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Check the video links in the description. Always ride safe and see you next time. Ciao!